I'm asking myself today, can you fix this? Let's find out, you know what I'm saying? Can you fix this? One of the questions I get asked the most is, can I fix this piece of broken pottery? Well, 90% of the time the answer is no. Sure, you wanna glue it together? That's fine, you can do that. You know, I mean, it'll work for a while. You can put some epoxy on it. It'll fail eventually because it's not as strong as the glaze and the clay. I have a piece that broke in drying and I really like it. So we're gonna do an experiment. Can I save it? Can I save this? I'm asking myself today, can you fix this? Let's find out, you know what I'm saying? Womp womp. I mean, that looks cool. That's not how it's supposed to be. Can I save it? Did I just make a thumbnail picture in my video? So yeah, we're gonna try to fix this. Um, basically, my plan is we're gonna biscuit and then we're gonna glue it together and glaze it. The glaze will fill in those cracks when the super glue melts off in the firing and it should, in theory, just fuse together. Who knows? Either way, I'm gonna keep this for myself. I'm not gonna give this to anybody. Um, this is gonna be pretty fragile anyway, so I'm gonna keep it and then when it breaks randomly one day, I'll probably be like, who broke this? And I'll forget that I broke it myself a long time ago. Okay, one thing that's very important is that we fire this together. Um, in the firing process, the clay and everything will warp a little bit. So it's really important that we fire this together because if we don't, it'll probably warp in a way that it'll never go back together. And our goal of a perfect piece will be unattainable. But that's not gonna happen because we're firing it together. So cross your fingers, hope nothing dies in the bisque. Let's go. Okay, so. We survived first firing. So now we're getting ready to glaze it. So I'm gonna use some uh, cheap super glue, you know, and I'm gonna go ahead and glue this thing up. So let's see how, I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I'm just gonna put a little super glue on each point. Um, I'm just kind of press it on there. And let's see what happens. I mean, you know, if this fails, it'll be all right. So the clay is really porous. So I'm very curious to see if this just soaks up. Okay, so there is gonna be a little bit seeping out. We'll see what happens when we glaze it. My guess is the glaze won't stick to that. Super glue's apparently holding, that's terrifying. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna dunk this into the glaze now. Ooh, it doesn't fit. It does not fit, so. And yeah, I mean, basically we're gonna be using the glaze to actually seal this together. The glaze should melt and fuse you know, these two pieces together. You can see where the glaze is not sticking to super glue. Look at that. All right, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Whoa, it's close. All right, so big super glue, he in there. Look, you can see. Right there, a little super glue line. Cross them fingers, hope they do fine. Yes, it's gonna be great. Ain't that right? Yes. Very big kiln, very big kiln. All right, look, we out here vlogging at the Dagum grocery store. Y'all, you knew it. this is getting serious now. We gotta get some fruit for this thing. These look delicious, except they squishy. Ooh, look, ooh, gross. Okay, so it came out, I think, better than I expected. I mean, that's probably the only spot that I can see. The others look pretty good. I'm stoked on that. Okay, so the outside definitely shows. So, like I said, this one's just for me anyways, but, uh, ooh, whoops, missed a spot. Probably could have added a little extra glaze. I poured this very weirdly, as you can see by me completely missing that spot there. But yeah, I think overall it'll work. It'll work for me. Oh, wow. 
Wait for the lighting. Oh, there we go. Now we're looking good. Okay, um, yeah, isn't this just great? Like, wow, it came out looking so good, huh? Think it'll work for me. Even vlog in the grocery store just for you guys. Never forget that, okay? I'm serious. Even brought you into my own home. So what's the verdict? We fix some broken pottery like this? Probably not. Um, could you? Yes. I just wouldn't. The super glue method would probably fail for something like this. The super glue is probably gonna melt off. This is my guess. I would imagine the super glue would fail in the kiln before the glaze solidifies. And then the handle, that'd be gluing back together and glazing, would just fall off. You know, the only way that I think you can fix pottery is to reglaze it, have the glaze fill everything back in and put it back together like that. You might have seen Kintsugi Bond. That's a totally different thing. That's super extensive. Uh, it's super cool. You should look it up if you've never heard of it. Basically, you're putting gold in between the cracks, refiring it. Um, but yeah, that's a that's a totally different topic. So yeah, can you fix broken pottery ish? If it's just in the bisque like I did, I'd be okay with that as long as it can sit together with gravity and you're not gonna worry about it slipping and falling off and messing up your kiln. If you've got a cup that broke, I'd say probably just, you know, buy a new one. You know, you got a good life out of it. Well, if you didn't, maybe be more careful. But anyways, thanks for watching. Check out one of these videos next. They're good, I promise. See you guys later.